Hey, how's it going, everybody? Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com, and we are talking a little NASCAR Cup Series action on Sunday, July 19th. 2020 the circuit heads to texas motor speedway a mile and a half track we'll talk about uh, what that means and everything else when it comes to sunday's race in just a moment couple of thoughts on who's going to win this race before i get to that a real quick note if you have yet to become a member over at docsports.com just want to give it a trial run just click on that link below the video get set up for a free 60 dollar account which you can use on any of my picks or anybody else over at docsports.com quick video coming up real quick programming note uh, it's really our final chance to take a Sunday off from videos. We handicap seven days a week. Don't always play seven days a week, but we play most of those days. Uh, but uh, going to take a night off on Sunday from videos. We'll be back on Monday between 8 p.m. and 10 p.m. Eastern time at the very latest. Uh, and then the reason it's the last chance to take a Sunday to not do videos is uh, because we've got Major League Baseball, thank God, starting on Thursday. Uh, and then we'll be a whole be involved in a whole lot of sports going on from there out. Baseball, NBA, NHL, of course, NASCAR, uh, soccer, everything right down the line. So looking forward to that. We'll be back on Monday, but uh, wanted to tell you real quickly that for Sunday's NASCAR race, I do have a seven-star matchup. It will be available to you. You can go grab it right now at DocSports.com. Play will be available Sunday morning, but you can grab the package right now at DocSports.com. We're coming uh, fresh off the win with Chase Elliott, Wednesday's All-Star Race. We're now on an 80% short-term run in NASCAR, and we're 35 and 16, almost 70% with our last 51. So that's what's going on for me on Sunday, a little bit of soccer and the seven-star big play in NASCAR. Don't miss out on that if you enjoy making some money on the left turn circuit. Wanted to talk a little bit about the Texas Motor Speedway and uh, the drivers involved in this race. Obviously, when you talk about the mile-and-a-half racetracks, we've had six races on a track of this length thus far. We've had six different winners. This obviously features that 550 horsepower package, and you know who's been dominant there. It's been Harvick and Hamlin for the most part. Those two have combined to win over 50% of the uh, races so far this season with the 550 horsepower package, which again is what we'll see on Sunday at Texas Motor Speedway. Uh, but I'm going to give you a couple of two win bets in this one. We're going to give you a kind of a semi-long shot and then a favorite, and uh, also what to mention that uh, if I were you, uh, at least I know my handicapping, I will not be going against either one of these two drivers when it comes to uh, matchups. So let's start first with a 25 to 1 shot uh, with Eric Almarola. And by the way, these were William Hill lines as of Saturday morning. Almarola 25 to 1. And when you look back at what he did last year here in the second race, the fall race, he led for 62 laps. He did not uh, get the win. He led a bunch of laps at Kentucky last week, finished eighth, which stopped his string of five straight top fives, but we expect him to be in the top five again this particular race. I've talked about Almarola. We've used him on matchups a few times with premium picks and in my write-ups. I talk about, listen, don't go back and judge him what he did two years ago, three years ago, even last year for the most part until the second half of the season because he has elite Stuart Haas equipment beneath him now. And because of that, he's a very good driver. He's got a very good team and crew, tree, uh, crew chief. He just needed that final piece, which was elite level uh, equipment underneath him and since he's had that he's been tearing up the circuit also doesn't hurt to have a guy like Kevin Harvick to learn from as one of your teammates Eric Almarola again he's been pretty dominant uh, six straight top tens he had the five straight top fives remember before the eighth place finish uh, we like him in this race we think a couple of the bucks at 25 to 1 not a bad idea and Harvick Kevin Harvick three wins in his last five races here at TMS he's listed at 5 to 1 at William Hill all four wins for Kevin Harvick in 2020 have come at this 550 horsepower package. His average, remember he used to never win at TMS, but his average finish in his last half dozen races at Texas Motor Speedway, 2.8. He's inside the top three on average in his last half dozen races here. He has led, well, he's two laps shy of leading 500 laps in his last six races at Texas Motor Speedway. He'll top that 500, in my opinion, uh, easily on uh, Sunday. So those are our two to win bets. Eric Armarola, 25 to 1. Kevin Harvick, 5 to 1. Of course, it's tough to go against Denny Hamlin with a 550 horsepower package on the mile and a half track surface. So it's a situation where, though, on those two drivers, I'm going to recommend right now you don't play against either one as far as matchups are concerned. I'm going to have a couple of bucks on Armarola, 25 to 1. I'll have a couple of bucks on Harvick at 5 to 1. Don't forget 
forget about Martin Truex. He races well in this situation. And although he's had a new crew chief to get used to this year, we've seen uh, glimpses of uh, a very top-notch Martin Truex throughout the course of the season. But Almarola for sure, Kevin Harvick for sure, those are our two to-win bets. And uh, again, those are going to be some small bucks that we put on those. But again, the premium picks go over at DocSports.com, and I've got a big seven-star play, a matchup. My premium picks are always matchups, 99.5% of the time, and that's what we got going on on Sunday. I've got two matchups. One's a seven-star play. You can go grab the package right now. Hey, have a great rest of the day on Saturday and into Saturday night. Let's put them in the wind column on Sunday. We'll be right back here Monday, again, between 8 p.m. and 10 p.m. Eastern time. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. you like the videos, click the thumbs up button, and be sure to subscribe. Do appreciate those who have done so thus far. Have a great rest of your weekend.